Welcome back to the Carbon Farm Planning Comet Farm Tutorial using the Ali Demonstration Farm. My name is Haley Nagel, the Outreach and Education Specialist for the Comet Farm team at Colorado State University. In the previous video, we defined our historic management practices and set our baseline management period. In this video, we will construct our baseline management for our parcels. To navigate to this page, you may either select baseline management at this top navigation pane or select next on the historic management page. The baseline management page is where we will include practices that have had a soil or crop productivity impact in our baseline management period. For simplicity purposes, our hypothetical carbon farm plan for the alley demonstration farm, we will assume that all parcels have the same baseline management of a typical corn soybean rotation. We will include the conservation practice scenarios and modifications to management in the future scenario section. First, we will begin with the crops parcel of land to add a crop rotation which you can either do by saying yes, add crop rotation, or you can add it later in the drag and drop crop rotation feature. So I will now switch to crops parcel. This drag and drop crop rotation feature um, minimizes your data entry load. So by selecting this, our baseline is defined by corn soybean rotation. When you drag the crop of choice to the pane on the right, you can also describe the irrigation and tillage events associated with this rotation by selecting each box. Here, neither were irrigated, corn was intensively tilled, and soybeans reduced tillage. We will also return to each of these events separately in our baseline management period. We can select Create Rotation. If your crop of choice is unavailable on the drag and drop feature, there's a more extensive crop list on the right-hand side. While there are over 80 different crops listed in Comet Farm, some crops are unavailable. If your crop of choice is unavailable, please reach out and we could potentially provide a surrogate crop that models similarly. Unfortunately, some crops remain unavailable due to limited data. When you use the drag and drop feature for constructing a crop rotation, default values on planting and harvest dates, yield and residue, populate the table below. If you have the exact values for your operation, you can modify each of these boxes by selecting the box of choice. For our alley demonstration carbon farm plan, we will leave these default values. For our baseline period, there were no grazing events. So we can move on to the next pane, tillage events. You can navigate to this pane either by selecting the next button at the bottom or by selecting the tillage button at the top on the navigation pane. For this project, the corn was intensively tilled. If you would like to modify your tillage event that you selected in the drag and drop crop rotation, you can select the box here or modify the date. For this project, the corn was intensively tilled. And if you are struggling to determine which tillage event on Comet Farm best matches your operations event, the blue question mark next to the implement table will provide a table that describes each tillage class, the amount of residue remaining, and the machinery used. We can now move on to fertilizer application for the corn, either by selecting fertilizer application at this top pane or the next button at the bottom. For a fertilizer application, you can select add new fertilizer application practice. For our project, we will need to modify the fertilizer type to anhydrous ammonia. And the amount applied will be 195.12 pounds per acre. If you have more specific values for your operation, you can always modify the total N applied and the total fertilizer applied. We can now move on to the remaining management practices, either by using the navigation bar at the top or you can use the next button at the bottom. For this baseline period, there were no manure events, compost events, irrigation, liming, or burning events. You can add these to your project if they were included in your plan. When you reach the last pane, you can select the, uh, the button next and a window will appear asking if you would like to add an additional crop for the same year. 
Comet Farm allows you to add up to three crops in a single year. For the baseline management period, we will say no thanks. This selection will prompt you to copy your baseline management practices between parcels into other years throughout your baseline period. This copy function greatly reduces your data entry time. Because we are assuming that all parcels are managed in the same for our carbon farm plan, we will copy this data to every other year for every other parcel. We will then select copy and continue. The red boxes around each of these indicates that there has been data entered for those boxes. So now we will continue to keep editing because we need to make modifications to our soybean. So we will go to soybean and we will do the same thing that we did for corn. Um, planting dates were pre-populated with default values, so you can either keep these or modify that. Um, we will keep these as they are, and we'll move on to tillage. Tillage event was already included in the drag and drop crop rotation, but if you need to modify this again, you can select the implementation pass and select your tillage that you would like to implement. There were no fertilizer applications for soybeans, so we can get rid of this. There was also no manure and compost, no irrigation, no liming, and no burning. So at this point, we can select the next bottom button at the bottom. We do not want to add an additional crop for this baseline period, so we will select no thanks, and our copy function will appear again. Here, the green check mark indicates which year you are copying data from and where this will go. So we will need to select 2001. So we're going to 2003, the rest of 2001, 2005, 2007, 9, and so forth. I realize I do need to go back and copy the corn data from 2000 to the rest of these years as well. So I will copy and continue. And I will go in and make that modification. So to make that modification for missing the corn, um, you have the option of selecting next to go through all of these um, management panes at the top, or we can skip ahead. No thanks. And again, I just forgot to copy this over to the rest of the 2000 parcels. So I will copy and continue. I will select keep editing to show you that each of these parcels now has data already populated in here. Stay tuned for the next video where we will define our scenario management for each of our parcels.